In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. It's time to wear pink again. Uh, it's uh, Gaudete Sunday. Gaudete meaning rejoice. Actually, the spirit of Lent and the spirit of Advent are suppo- uh, is supposed to be the same. Penitence, contrition, repentance. Pero kasi sa atin sa Pilipinas, paglabas ni Joma Richan sa September ay Pasko na. Walang Advent. <laughs> so, well, we're happy people. So, uh, Gaudete. So, rejoice. My dear sisters and brothers, as we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries of God's love for us, let us call to mind our sins, especially those times when we deliberately wanted to obstruct other people's happiness and joy and cheer. Lord Jesus, you came to bring glad tidings to the poor. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to heal the brokenhearted. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to proclaim liberty to those who are slaves of sin. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, you see how your people faithfully await the feast of the Lord's birth. Enable us, we pray, to attain the joys of so great a salvation and to celebrate them always with solemn worship and glad rejoicing. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity with the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A proclamation from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The desert and the parched land will exult. The steppe will rejoice and bloom. They will bloom with abundant flowers and rejoice with joyful song. The glory of Lebanon will be given to them. The splendor of Carmel and Sharon. They will see the glory of the Lord, the splendor of our God. Strengthen the hands that are feeble. Make firm the knees that are weak. Say to those whose hearts are frightened, Be strong, fear not. Here is your God. He comes with vindication. With divine recompense, He comes to save you. Then will the eyes of the blind be opened, the ears of the deaf be cleared. Then will the lame leap like a stag, Then the tongue of the mute will sing. Those whom the Lord has ransomed will return and enter Zion singing, crowned with everlasting joy. They will meet with joy and gladness. Sorrow and mourning will flee. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to God. God. Responsorial Psalm. Let our response be... Lord, come and save us. Lord, come and save us. The Lord God keeps faith forever, secures justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets captives free. Lord, Lord, come and save us. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord raises up those who were bowed down. The Lord loves the just. The Lord protects strangers. Lord, come and save us. The fatherless and the widow he sustains, but the way of the wicked he thwarts. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, through all generations. Lord, come and save us. proclamation from the letter of James. Brothers and sisters, be patient until the coming of the Lord. See how the farmers wait for the precious fruit of the earth, 
being patient with it until it receives the early and the late rains. You too must be patient. Make your hearts firm because the coming of the Lord is at hand. Do not complain, brothers and sisters, about one another, that you may not be judged. Behold, the judge is standing before the gates. Take as an example of hardship and patience, brothers and sisters, the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to bring glad tidings to the poor. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When John the Baptist heard in prison of the works of the Christ, he sent his disciples to Jesus with this question. Are you the one who is to come, or should we look for another? Jesus said to them in reply, Go and tell John what you hear and see. The blind regain their sight, the lame walk, lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, and the poor have the good news proclaimed to them. And blessed is the one who takes no offense at me. As they were going off, Jesus began to speak to the crowds about John. What did you go out to the desert to see? A reed swayed by the wind? Then what did you go out to see? Someone dressed in fine clothing? Those who wear fine clothing are in royal palaces. Then why did you go out to see a prophet? Yes, I tell you, and more than a prophet. This is the one about whom it is written, Behold, I am sending my messenger ahead of you. He will prepare your way before you. Amen, I say to you, among those born of women, there has been none greater than John the Baptist. Yet the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. My dear sisters and brothers, the gospel of the Lord. Grace to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Ever had a hero who turned out to be a disappointment? I've had a few in my life. They were heroes to me because despite their excellence, they identified with the frailties and foibles of ordinary mortals like myself. They were never ashamed to have feet of clay. That's why they were so wise, because they were so grounded. And then some of them got elevated, promoted, and then they drifted off the ground and, well, started to revel in the air up there. And worse, to stay up there, some of them used their power and their sway to put down others they feared to be a menace to their distinction. Breathing rarefied air, they no longer suffer critics gladly. Kay John the Baptist, medyo balikta din nangyari. He was dead sure that his cousin Jesus was the Messiah and no other. But the problem was, he seemed to have a very elevated notion of Messiah. Bata pa lang sila, nung classmates sila sa religion under Zechariah, malamang sobrang lakas na ng kutub ni John, na itong si Jesus, hindi ito basta-bastang nila lang. Kakaiba ang talino, ibang level mag-isip. Napakabait, pero kung mangusap, nagbabaga at ang tapang ng apog. And years later, no sooner had John baptized Jesus than word got back to him, that his cousin was healing, exercising, raising the dead, and also raising the hackles of the hierarchs. Yes, the Messiah after his own heart. That was Jesus talked about the kingdom of God all the time, pa, that it was near, that it was here. So everything John heard about Jesus only confirmed that his cousin was truly the hero he'd always prized him to be. The Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. The new David. And now that John was in prison, 
Jesus would soon burst forth in all his power and set him free. And together, they would set Israel free for all time and lead it towards being the kingdom of God. But um, what's taking him so long? John must have finally thought, scratching his head and with mounting disappointment. Sa sobrang inip at inis niya, he sent his friends to in your face Jesus with, Hey, are you the one who is to come? Or shall we look for another? A question sopping with disappointment. John's Messiah was cut out of velvet cloth, royal, David-like, political. Jesus' notion was more the uncrowned Messiah, the feet-on-the-ground ministerial Messiah. The blind see, the deaf hear, the dead rise, the poor hear the good news. John's kingdom of God was go Israel, go conquer, go big. Jesus' kingdom was mustard seed, wheat among the weeds, yeast buried in dough, treasure buried in the field, etc. You know what, guys? Go tell John. He's one to talk about disappointment. Zechariah was grooming him to be the next priest in the family. And what did he end up to be? This camel hair wearing, locust eating, desert dwelling, dissenter? At least I became a carpenter like my dad was. Jesus could have shot back, you know, sisters and brothers. After all, sikat na siya. May karapatan na. Hero na ng marami. But Jesus never shot back. Unlike some of our idols who become allergic to criticism as they breathe rarefied air, Jesus stayed firmly grounded, real, forbearing. He even paid tribute to John when he finally proclaimed, among those born of women, none is greater than John the Baptist. My sisters and brothers, there's a reason why deep in God's heart, he revealed himself as one with feet of clay and standing on the same ground with us. Jesus is being human like us in all things except sin. This wasn't just pretend human. Like actors pretend their roles so they can mirror to us who we are. Or like undercover bosses pretend to be employees to have a real idea where their people are. Or like dad and mom pretend to be hurt when their toddlers bump their heads and cry so that the babies don't feel too scared in their pain. All of those pretensions are noble and well-intentioned but they are not as stark and as radical as God becoming really, really human in Jesus, like us in all things except sin, in all things but sin. Jesus laughed at the funny and cried at the heartbreaking. He had his share of feeling lonesome despite being in a crowd and feeling accompanied despite being alone. He was also surprised by the familiar and let down by the glorified. As he healed, exercised, and raised the dead, he must have also fallen ill, kept awake at night by bedeviling thoughts, and died a thousand deaths by disappointment. Now, matanong ko nga kayo, does this console you, sisters and brothers, that our Messiah was like us in all things but sin? Or does it disappoint you that he had feet of clay like it did John? The only time anyone on earth made those feet leave the ground was when soldiers elevated him all right, but onto a cross. That way the hierarchs, the pretend heroes, tried to shame us about how wrong we were to have esteemed Jesus as our hero. But see, that's just it, sisters and brothers. No one, but no one who loves us, yet has been hugely disappointed with us a hundred times over, will keep saving us, keep forgiving us, keep healing, blessing, comforting us, will keep giving us hope for a better day, will keep bringing us over to that better day, if he were not a God who knows exactly what it means to be deeply, irrepressibly 
human. He's not a pretend God who became a pretend human. That's why there is an incarnation. That's why there's a Christmas. Despite being God, he assumed feet of clay to be on the same ground we're on. Unlike our fallen heroes who are now luxuriating in another, another planet of their own, our God is ever Emmanuel, ever with us. Now that's what is truly messianic. That is what truly is a hero. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Amen. As we look confidently to the fulfillment of the Lord's promises, let us submit to him some of the most pressing problems of these days. Trusting fully in his omnipotent love, we say, Father of all consolation, hear us. Father Father of consolation, consolation. hear us. For the Catholic faithful all over the world, may the observance of the Advent season be for them a source of grace and hope. Let us pray. Father Father of all consolation, consolation, hear hear us. us. For the Holy Father and all other spiritual leaders, may they ignite in us the fire of confidence and optimism as we strive to answer the many challenges of our times. Let us pray. Father Father of all consolation, hear us. For all those who are not able to see meaning in what they do or suffer, may our unfeigned charity give them the enlightenment they need. Let us pray. Father Father of all consolation, hear us. For all those who are following the false messiahs of profit, popularity, pleasure, and power, may they realize that only Jesus can fully satisfy their deepest aspirations. Let us pray. Father Father of consolation, hear us. Let us pray in silence for our intentions and needs. And for those celebrating their birthdays, Chinit Rufino, Noel Ferrer, Trevor Taijan, Philip De Leon, Father Lloyd Sabio, Father Vic Salanga, Oman Tanchinko, Felix Tang, Jose Tens Ruiz, Lota Kakatian, Joel Haos, Philip De Leon, Ramon Barbaza. For the healing of Rika Trota, Linda Ferrer. For the repose of the souls of Ray Katindig, Jose Almine Sr. And for the special intentions of Temay Padero, Gina Hill and family, Virginia Lobitania, Neneth Coronel, and the Ateneo basketball team, and for all the intentions sent to our Facebook pages at Jescom and Radio Katipunan. Let us pray. Father Father of Consolation, consolation, hear us. God our Father, look with compassion at the many forms of suffering and oppression that afflict us today. May the healing presence of your Son bring us hope, for he lives and saves forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
Pray, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, to be offered to you unceasingly, to complete what was begun in sacred mystery, and powerfully accomplish for us your saving work, the Siyas of Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he might find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Holy Lord, Lord, God God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it. He gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for the many, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior Savior of the world, for for by your cross and resurrection you have set us us free. Therefore, as you celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the cup of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that sharing of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one family by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring us to the fullness of love together with Francis, our Pope, Onesse, our Bishop, and all the men and women who minister to you, lay and religious alike, especially those who care for the sick. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her husband, with the Apostles, St. John the Baptist, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may become children of eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Now, my dear sisters and brothers, with deep faith, hope, and love in our hearts, we call on God, our Father. Our Our Father, Father, who who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy Thy kingdom come, thy thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And and forgive forgive us our our trespasses, trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against against us. And lead us not not into temptation, temptation, but deliver deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. 
that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Peace with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. My dear sisters and brothers, behold the gentle Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. How blessed are those who were called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not not worthy worthy that you should should enter enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. We implore your mercy, Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feasts. This we ask to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you and the people you love, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love one another and serve the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to to God. Good morning, everyone.